Hello everyone, this is a tutorial to create an Adobe Spark web page. So, the first thing that you're going to need to do is first set up an account by going to spark.adobe.com. By just simply typing that into your URL, you can go there fairly quickly. Then it'll prompt you to create an account. You can sign up for an account through Google. Um, if you have a Gmail account, or you can also create a, an Adobe account. If you already have an Adobe account, you can link it to your um, Adobe Spark page as well. Um, or simply sign up through your normal email address. So the first thing that you're going to do once you get logged into it and you've created your account, you're going to start by clicking on create a project. Underneath you'll see many options, but the one we're going to be working with is web page. So this will automatically save as you go along. Um, however, I do suggest that if you are working on your essay that you save it on a separate Word document. Let this be the last thing that you really complete as the essay is the more important part of doing the project. So as you can see here, we have options to add a title and also a subtitle and a photo as well. So this photo will become your background photo for this section. So I'm going to use the example that I created. Um, from the essay that I made, just to show you as an example. So I read two articles that you don't have access to because obviously this would not be a good example if I just gave you the work. So um, my essay was about video games, good or evil. So this will actually become my title for my website. Okay, then I'm going to type in the name for the project. Then my teacher's name, maybe if it'll let me. Then the class period. Okay, then I want to add a background photo. Since oh, I don't want to upload a photo, um, since my topic is about video games, let's just see what it comes up with when I search it. Okay. Yeah, I think I like this as a background. Okay. So the next thing that you can do is set up a theme. So if you don't like this generic theme of text, you can also create a theme of your own or you can choose one of the already pre-created themes. I like doing this because it's already done for you, so it's fairly simple. Um, let's go with this one. Okay. So, to continue on, you're also going to... Um, this is a web page, so you're going to be able to scroll through the pages. Um, so the first thing that you might want to do is add text. So this will pretty much be putting your essay into a visual format as well. Um, 
we're going to break down the actual essay based off of your argument. So the first part of your argument would be your introduction. Slash claim. Okay, and say you want to make this a little bit bigger. If you hit H1, this will actually make a big subtitle. And it just looks nice if you center it as well. Okay, then I'm going to take my introduction paragraph that I already have written, copy it, and paste it into the Word doc, or the web page. All right. So say that I also want to include a photo. This is also how you're going to make it more visually appealing. I can say photo grid, glide show, or do a split layout. So this is a background photo. Um, let's use this one. Okay. And then I can also add another photo in there. Um, so I want to visually represent the introduction. Um, my introduction talks about um, whether or not video games are helpful or harmful. So maybe I could find a photo that shows that. But we're just going to stick to these for right now, so you can see the visual. As you can see that when I put those photos in, it kind of shifted all of my information down. So it might be more beneficial if you actually create the backgrounds for each one of your um, paragraphs first. And then, then input all of that information. But Simply, I can just hit Control X and it gets rid of it. And I can paste it in here. So as you can see, it kind of creates a really neat platform to create more things on it. And there are several things that you can do. Um, as a glide show, it changes through the pictures that you select to put in there. You can always add more pictures through the glide show. There's also a way to do a split layout if you want to change things up. You can add a picture on the side and then have your paragraph on the other side and you can switch the orientation of them. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to create your project by using Adobe Spark. If you have any questions, reach out to your teachers for help. Thanks.